we want you to be safe. We want you to get where you're going. And while we're never happy if it takes 20 or 30 more minutes and you have to use an alternative route, we never want you crossing over an unsafe bridge. And tonight, that's the Sherman Minton Bridge. It's now closed. The Kentucky governor late today giving an update, talking about the emergency shutdown of the I-64 bridge to New Albany. Andy Bashir believes it could be open in just a few days, not shut down for six months like what happened with it in 2011. And the problems, he says, with the bridge are nothing like with what's going on in the Brent Spence Bridge that connects northern Kentucky to Cincinnati. Well, the Sherman Minton has been undergoing a major rehab. The renewal project engineers today said that the the upper and lower decks of the bridge were closed overnight after construction crews found a component of the approach bridge was in need of immediate repair. The crews were evaluating the Kentucky side, the Kentucky approach at the time, to make planned repairs when they found it. Officials say the deck needs immediate repairs before any traffic's allowed. The closure is until further notice, but as you heard the governor say today that he doesn't expect it to last it too long. Now, drivers and business owners in New Albany were coming up with alternate routes today. Many of them say this closure is going to be costly. WHS 11's Tra Travis Breeze has been talking to several people frustrated. They want answers. The drivers I talked to here in New Albany were a bit shocked to hear of the immediate complete closure of the bridge and many of them say that this is going to cost them money either by missing out on job opportunities or having to pay tolls. All that traffic is going to be bunched up in on the 2nd Street Bridge. A lot more gas. Drivers like Eddie Brown stopped by the Marathon on State Street in New Albany and found out they had to reroute. They've been working on this bridge so long, it seems like every other week it's closed. The bridge was closed overnight when crews noticed a component of the approach ramp on the Kentucky side needed immediate repairs. Thursday morning, the Sherman Minton Renewal Project announced the closure would be extended until further notice. I was just gonna go on my way, but now I'm late. At Regalo in downtown New Albany, owner J.D. Dotson says his customers have plenty of experience navigating delays, and this may require them to lean more on their free delivery service. We did it when the bridge closed the last time. We do free local delivery in Louisville as well, and our entire store is online, so that has helped out. But yeah, it's annoying. The Sherman Minton Renewal Project has provided a few updates throughout the day. The most recent being the Sherman Minton Renewal Project team and state transportation officials are working diligently to reopen the bridge to traffic as quickly as possible. Dotson says Riverlink should drop the tolls on I-65 and I-265 while half of the free bridges are down. Drop the tolls, yeah. Yeah, because 2nd Street's a disaster, especially if there's anything going on downtown, at the Yum Center or whatever. The latest chapter in the now two-year construction project. Anytime over, you know, two years, it's, it's kind of, you know, man. In New Albany, Travis Breeze, WHAS 11 on your side. He said it well. Well, the Sherman Minton Bridge is 60 years old and it opened about the same time as the Kennedy Bridge. The current rehab project was supposed to be finished at the end of this year and they say would add 30 years of life to the Sherman Minton.